well, you've made a truth claim, and you said that you have no ultimate standard. So when you say that it's true that this is required, I'd like to know what is the standard by which you call anything true. Well, see, I think you're dancing. I think you're playing a I shell game. That, but I, I think, think it's you're clear avoiding. For the that are watching it. Well, if you're tr if you're trying to move these people emotionally, you're doing a wonderful job. No, I'm not job. trying to move them emotionally. I'm simply asking you questions that you can't answer. You can't. I, give I don't me... understand your question. Well, that's what I'm saying. This Can is I what try to Dave restate the questions in a different, in, in more layman's English? You could, but you've already said you could be wrong about everything you claim to know. So really it, again, I'm, I'm, I'm not, only asking not, you these questions. Si, play so I, I'm that's concerned. You're not asking me. Okay, that's fine. Guys. I'm sorry. We've got to stop <laughs> with this cheap trick of of you could be wrong. It's old, and we need to move on. You're disrespecting okay. your host. Thanks for your time. Okay, thank you. Get off the stage. Have a good day. Well, we accept my apology. For what? For what? For, for, sir, have, we, agree, we accept my desire that you can repent and put your trust in Jesus Christ in your Lord and Savior. Would you accept that? And I'm glad to shake your hand. You know, it could be mutual. I'll accept your apology if you accept my admonition that you please repent and put your trust in Jesus Christ in your Lord and Savior. And, re and you go to Him and you understand it. All right. My yeah. Can I shake your hand? Thanks well, for having us. I, I, I would be to shake your hand. Are you okay? Now, one thing I did. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Why? <laughs> because, sir, I don't mean that you're a Christian from the things that you've said. So you're not going to say. I will. I, I will. I will. But I want to get my peace out first. I'm saying that if you deny God as your authority, you're not a Christian. I urge you to repent, and I, and I thank you for having me. Oh yes, I'm a Deny God is my authority. That's what right. I say. I deny God is my authority. When you said that you were. I didn't say that I was. Oh, you said you didn't have one. <laughs> and when you say you don't have one, it's denying God is the authority. I know. Is that true, sir? That makes no sense. The proof that God exists is that without him, you can't know anything. You're making you an argument without being illiterate in the Okay, but the thing is, you're making truth sense. claims. You're making truth claims, and you haven't told us what your standard of truth is yet. What you're trying to do is you're trying to set up something that's really spurring. Is that true? Like I said, it's, it's just... You're making one true claims, sir. I urge you to repent and go to the truth. Repent of your denial of the God you know exists. Re repent of elevating... Repent of... Ele no, you don't. I don't love you. He's not your standard of truth. You're your own standard of truth. No, you don't. You deny the Lord that I adore. Where do you, where do you get your energy? Where do I get my energy? When people insult my Lord, that's right. I'm not going to hug your neck, sir. You need to repent. I need to repent because I love Jesus with all of my heart. You don't love Jesus, sir. Jesus hugged You're your ultimate authority. You love an idol that you've created. I've created Jesus. That's right. You created an idol because you're the authority as to what he said. Well, I want this man. Well, so who's the more loving person? Somebody's walking towards a cliff. Somebody comes up to you and says, Jesus loves you. And that's what somebody says. There's a cliff in front of you. Stop! Turn around! Who's the more loving person? Would it be safe to assume that what you're trying to say? Sir, who's the more loving I'm person? Can I answer it without just Sir. giving you yes or no? No. That, yeah, okay. Well, I'll go ahead. I mean, is it true that you're trying to set me up for, oh, I may be going to hell? And you're the more loving person who will stop me from going to hell. Yes, that's true. And so you're going to stop me from going to hell. I'm not going to stop you. And warn simply, you. you're going to warn me based upon something that you have no syntagmatic nor is that true? paradigmatic analysis is for. Is that true? That I'm, I'm simply that. saying that. Provide it to me and prove to me that you have it. You're telling if me that you I have don't it. have it. You're telling me that I don't have it. You're I'm simply it saying. Me. I'm simply saying. If you have it, produce it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me right now. I'm all ears. The thing is, give it to me. Give it to me right now. Prove to these people. Okay. Give it to me. First of all, you can't give it to them. They don't understand what you're saying. You don't and have the only what I'm is. saying, and you're trying to tell me about the some spurious is. idea that they inserted hell. And God's going to burn people what's for the standard, eternity. What's the standard by which you make that judgment? You just look at the basics. So you are your own standard. You've elevated yourself above God. And that's why you need to repent, sir. Where did God say anything about hell? Throughout Scripture? <laughs> Have a look at Matthew 25. <laughs> I mean, you want to make a... Uh, I want you to repent. That's what I want. <laughs> My goodness. You're trying to dethrone I, God, and that's not going to happen. No, I would not. Okay, now, to the now you God said you were going to answer my question. You said you were going to answer my question. 
Okay, so now two people, are, a person is walking toward the cliff. You said you're going to answer my question. Who is the more loving person? The loving, the person who says Jesus loves you, or the person who says there's a cliff in front of you, you might want to turn around. Okay, and they start screaming if they don't okay. turn around. Who is if, the more loving if person? If the cliff existed, right. the person who said, hey, stop, would be loving you. Okay. But you're trying to say that hell exists and you have no proof. Can you be wrong about that? No. So you're absolutely certain. And the sea gave up the dead, which you went in, and death and hell. The physical evidence. Death and hell was Where is the the physical evidence for hell? Where is the linguistic evidence of hell? You can't show me anywhere where we have syntagmatic and paradigmatic analysis that that would suggest the hell, and yet you spin this lie. Where do you hear evidence in the In court. Who would you give evidence to in court? I'm simply asking for anyone to give. Who? Can you find someone who will give me that kind of analysis and I will believe in him? Who would you give evidence to in court? Who would you give evidence to in court? The judge and jury. You're asking me for evidence and I will not elevate you to the position of judge. What you're doing is you're avoiding the question because you can't say that there's a real cliff. There's no one who would legitimately say that there is an analysis. Do you deny hell? I deny hell. I think that your expertise in hell is about... 30 years premature. It's stupid. Repentance is stupid. Repentance is stupid. And this is somebody who affirms to get me on camera as stating repentance is actually a failed meta language of theology. Anyone who spins the idea of repentance is illiterate, very illiterate. Is that clear enough? Very clear, sir. Very clear. Repent. Do you believe God is eternal? Oh, yeah. He's wonderful and He loves you unconditionally. Yes. And He loves you so much that He doesn't even keep a record of your wrongs. So, you don't believe that uh, since He is eternal and since you broke His eternal law, you don't deserve eternal punishment? I don't believe I deserve His punishment, no. You will experience that eternal punishment for breaking his eternal law because he's so, eternal law. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Do you think that good parents put their created children no in a torture chamber? No one's good. That's Romans 3. Romans 3, no one's good. <laughs>